Guys, I'm in the worst traffic of my life. I can't believe this traffic. Like, there's way too much traffic. Can you believe that? Boom. Justin, we have ourselves. I keep saying just in, like, and there's a just. Okay, wait. Hello there, and welcome to your daily Blockberg news. I'm here to tell you guys about the Blockberg hidden details and secrets and all of that. <laughs> Get this microphone away from me. Hello, guys. So, uh, yesterday's update was pretty wild. Some people, um, some people are not fond of it, but I feel like you'll get used to it. Bloxburg is still Bloxburg. Anyways, today I thought I'd talk about the hidden details and secrets found in this update. I had to make sure. I don't think I'm gonna have every single thing in the world, but, um, I have a decent list. So, without further ado, let's begin. I was able to notice some things while I was playing and messing around with this, this update the entire day. Thank you, God, for letting me know these things, too. First thing I want to mention is all of the well not all of the potions but most of the potions so in the witch's cauldron there are a lot of potions that you can mess around with after i believe you do the first book quest i'm not sure if you need to do the quest first to do the mess with the cauldron but just do it anyways it's really easy i have a video on that and also i did it in my update video but if you go to the cauldron there's a couple of things you can add into here to give you certain special effects so the first thing i want to note is if you equip a light source which could be any of these, I believe. As long as it's a light source, it should work. We're gonna grab an oil and drain. You put it inside the cauldron. You're gonna be getting a potion that is pretty bright. And this will make your screen turn black and white. Oh my gosh, I rhyme. And yes, this is what happens. It's pretty creepy. Uh, yeah, your screen just turns black and white or gray. I guess. I don't know. It's really interesting. You know, it gives you kind of like a, a spooky vibe. So if you're trying to do like some cinematic shots or something and you need black and white, even though you could just edit the video. Um, you need a natural one? Here you go. I haven't seen this one myself, but I was told that if you add a balloon um, into the cauldron, you will float. So let's go ahead and add that. Then we can drink this one. Ooh. I don't know what color it is, but it's kind of bright too. It makes you float. <gasps> oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. The next thing you can add into the cauldron are some reading glasses. If you add reading glasses into the cauldron, you get another potion. Is that glowing too? I have no idea. But this one will make you invisible. Oh, okay. I'm invisible. Oh, wow. Okay, my screen's back to normal, but I am invisible and I'm still floating. Apparently, these effects last two minutes each. That's very exciting. Look at that. That's kind of creepy, though. Not gonna lie. Very creepy. Uh, the next thing you can add is a baby rattle or just like, an, I guess, any musical instrument. If you add in a baby rattle to the cauldron, your head will come off and you will hear some screaming. Well, let's go and do that. Do that. Yeah, that one's, that one's creepy. Oh gosh. I'm doing it while I'm floating and invisible. Let me look for a guitar. Oh, I don't have my guitar. Apparently that works with the guitar as well. I have no idea. But those are currently the... Um, I know there are other things that will turn you different colors. Um, so we, we know that at least. It's number two. This is related to the potions, but not, you know, it's not like the exact same thing. But yeah, you can store these potions at your own house. So uh, let me just put in a random thing. I'm going to put a microphone in real quick. But yeah, so once you arrive back home with your potion, you can go ahead and place it on the surface and you can keep it. It's not just something you drink and that's it. Um, keep it for many things. Number three, the TV shows got revamped. This was in the update no, this is not hidden, but I do want to, uh, oh my gosh, I do want to point out, not only revamped it, but you know, they changed some little details here, so you guys know Gordon Block, say, was the original name, but now we have, we have Gordon Radish, and as you can see, he is preparing a cheese, grilled cheese, a grilled kimchi cheese sandwich, kimchi grilled cheese sandwich, and you notice how his loaves are huge, like his bread is thick, oh, his bread slices are too thick, and um, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. You're probably like, wow, crazy. Let him cook. I just realized. <laughs> Let him cook. When you're making that recipe yourself at home, it's the exact same thing. So we learned from Gordon Radish the exact way to do it. I was always wondering why our bread slices were thick. So um, we learned from him. We learned from the wrong guy. Look at that. That is crazy. I actually have never had a, a, a kimchi grochi sandwich. I don't even know if like, is it supposed to be that huge? It's not. So that's a, like a fun little detail. Also, you can find on the news broadcast channel a bunch of different new um, things. Coffee now, coffee cow confuses cowboy couple. There's many different things. There's like many different breaking news. Bloxy burger. Bloxy burgers no longer under investigation as allergies now what now 
yeah, there's a lot of new, like, breaking news. There's brand new breaking news. I would also like to point out Gordon Radish is a reckless chef. He's a reckless chef. He threw a knife on the floor. He's like, bye. Oh, oh! Number five. The gift wrapping station has spooky messages for your gifts. So if you wrap up a gift, there's no, unfortunately, there's no like Halloween items inside this thing that you can wrap up and give people yourself. You want to wrap up like a lava lamp or something. There are spooky messages. Look at this. Happy Halloween. Boo. Uh, and that's it. There's just two new things. Boo. Lava lamp. <laughs> All right, number six, you can litter. I actually don't know if this works in public servers. I'm gonna have to go test this out. But if you're in your own neighborhood, you can literally litter. So if you grab an item from your inventory, that's like interactive, of course. You can place it as many times, well, not as many times as you want. There's a limit to it. I forgot how much there is. So let's just try this out. You can actually just put it on the street, six. So there is a limit of putting down nine items and it will tell you this item cannot be placed currently. Try again later or with a different item. If you do click on any of the items that you place down in the world, you can also see remove world objects and it will remove every single item you place within the world, which is really cool. Once again, I don't know. Should we go to a public server to test this out? I'm here and I'm about to litter in this world. I'm about to litter in this world if I can. Oh, oh, there you go. It does work. So it does work in public servers. You can just... <laughs> you can litter in the public servers. But once again, it's a nine item limit. So um, you can't really just like spam the world. Number seven, the Halloween makeup kit or face paint kit has two designs. The first one will be a pumpkin. I don't know if it's random. Oh, okay. Well, there's your other one. This one's a zombie or like a Frankenstein type of makeup. I think it's Frankenstein. It looks very Frankenstein-y. So Frankenstein. And then the next one, if you try putting this on again, will be a pumpkin. I don't think there's anything else. But yeah, there's the pumpkin one. Number eight, they updated some animations. I was told they updated the mining job animation. There's also a new cleaning animation with the sponge. I don't know if it's the exact same as the one that where you like, you know, if you're using the actual... Oh, I think it's this animation, right? That comes with the sponge. Oh, I have a dirty oven. Let's go and check, take a look at this. Okay, it's the same as when you use just like the sponge, to the sponge item itself. That's pretty cool. And then I was told the mining animation. Oh, look at that. Wait, you can just have a pickaxe within your inventory and in your backpack. Okay, let's, let's take a look. Let's go ahead and mine the ground. Oh, oh, that's intense. Ah, ah. Well, oh, that was really interesting. <laughs> that was really interesting. And you can equip the pickaxe from your backpack. I love how you can search for these things. That's pretty cool. Okay, those are the only two, like, animation. Another thing, number nine, is that the emotes have their own subcategories now. Uh, I discovered this accidentally when I was trying to dance at the, at the, the festival. But yeah, if you click emotes now, you have all these, you know, categories. You got the gestures, the emotions, the dances, the exercise, the other, which I believe are like animations that are in this game. I'm not sure if they're exclusive in this game, but I feel like they are. And then the custom ones are the ones that you saved to your locker or like your dresser. But yeah, I really like how they separated these things now in case you needed to see something more specific. That is great. Same thing with the whole decorations category, which is not a hidden detail because they have that in the notes. Oh, apparently the Gordon uh, Ramsay's grilled kimchi grilled cheese sandwich was a real thing. It was undercooked that the cheese inside wasn't melted and then he got frustrated. Oh, that's a cool, interesting. That's a fun fact of the day. Wow, not a lot of, not a lot of us know that. Okay, I'm gonna put the guitar inside the cauldron and we're gonna see what happens. If it's the same as the rattle then, but I tried it, you know, at least I tried. I think it's the same as the screaming one. Oh, yep, it is. Oh, my head fell off. Oh my gosh. By the way, the entire server can hear this, I believe. So um, if you hear this, uh, that means someone put a guitar or a baby rattle inside the cauldron and drank it. If you're ever wondering, that's that's exactly what's happening. Okay, and the last thing, I forgot what number. Are we on number nine or 10? Number 10. The last thing is if you go to the uh, observatory, the fall zodiac sign should be now available. I think they forgot about this. You know what? Hidden detail, Luxburg Death forgot to add in the new zodiac signs for the season. That's how much we've already forgotten about the observatory. They don't even update the zodiacs here anymore. No, I'm serious. It's not here. I I scrolled everywhere. But anyway, guys, that will wrap up today's Blockburg hidden secrets slash details uh, within this update, the Halloween updates. Um, 
it was fun to see all these things and whatnot. Thank you guys for letting me know uh, most of these things, and this is pretty interesting. I know they love giving us these giving us these little things that they don't tell us about because then we can discover it. But if you guys enjoyed this episode, you find it interesting, informational, in a way, make sure to leave a big old thumbs up and make sure you hit the subscribe button. It is completely free. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Seriously though, those are some pretty neat details for this update. I really like it.